For the past 30 days, I've had Brian Johnson's Blueprint Stack every single day. If you haven't heard of the Blueprint Stack, it's essentially a set of supplements created by Brian Johnson, marketed as being a scientifically proven supplement stack to improve and extend your life. There were two questions that I wanted to answer in this 30-day experiment. First of all, can the Blueprint Stack actually improve my health? And second, is it worth the $361 a month price tag. Over this 30 day period, I captured loads of sleep and recovery data with my whoop. And I also took blood tests before and after to see if there were any marked differences. I'm excited to take you on this journey with me. And I think you might be surprised by the results. When the blueprint stack arrived at my house, I was super excited to open it up and give things a try, but I hadn't got my blood work done yet. So I needed to do that first. Okay. So I'm heading into lab core to get my blood work done. Should be interesting because I haven't been eating the healthiest. Mission successful. Within a few days, the results were in, and to be honest, I was a little bit surprised by one of the markers, my HbA1c. While I was at the gym this morning, my initial blood work came back, and I already went through it a little bit, but I wanted to walk through it with you guys. For the most part, all of my biomarkers are in optimal ranges. In fact, the company that I get my blood work done through, Blokes, they give you a score showing how optimal your results were and 96 percent of my biomarkers were in optimal ranges there are a few key biomarkers though that could really use a bit of improvement as you can see here my hba1c which is essentially your average blood sugar is 5.4 percent this is really high for me i want to say that normally i'm like 4.7 percent one of the reasons that this could be elevated is because a few weeks ago i was down in mexico for my anniversary And I had more than my fair share of carbs, specifically croissants, sweets, and a lot of chips and salsa. So that could definitely have contributed to elevating things. The other reading that really stands out as being quite a ways outside of optimal is my testosterone. My testosterone here is at 561 nanograms per deciliter, which for me is actually pretty good. There's a difference between normal and optimal. Normal testosterone ranges all the way down to like the 300s into about the 800s. Optimal for people that are natural is gonna be probably 750 to 900 nanograms per deciliter. 561 is actually one of the highest readings that I've had since I started measuring all this. About a year ago, I was in the low 400s. So I've come a long ways. Hopefully we can increase this a little bit over the next month though. So this is what $361 a month buys you with the Blueprint stack. With the full stack, you get about 400 calories a day of consumable items and eight pills to take. The food items include nutty pudding mix, longevity mix, which is basically a bunch of pills combined into a drink form, this nut and berry mix, which is freeze dried blueberries with walnuts and macadamia nuts. And you get Blueprint's extra virgin olive oil, which is branded as snake oil. The eight daily pills include these essential capsules, these essential shot soft gels, essential sh essential soft gel, an essential soft gel, an NAC ginger and curcumin pill, and a soft gel that has rice yeast and garlic in it. The blueprint stack allegedly has 74 health actives in it. What is a health active? According to Google, there's not a lot of information on what a health active is. So I think that the Blueprint team probably made up this word. It seems like by health active, they mean health intervention. Let's talk about the food items a little bit and go through what's in those. If you've been following Brian Johnson for a while, then you'll remember that about a year ago, he was taking 111 pills a day or something ridiculous like that. Longevity Mix essentially takes 20 of those pills and combines them into one simple supplement. So one scoop of Longevity Mix replaces 20 pills. If you wanna to pause to look at the full ingredient list of everything in Longevity longevity mix. I'll leave that on the screen here. But a few of the notable ingredients are ashwagandha, theanine, vitamin C, and creatine monohydrate. As we saw in my initial blood work, my testosterone was a little bit below the optimal range. So hopefully the ashwagandha and some of the other ingredients in this drink 
can help bring that up a little bit, but we'll see. I will say that for everything that's in this drink, I'm actually pretty impressed with the taste. You wouldn't think that 20 supplements would taste this good blended together. So props to them for that. The nutty pudding powder is supposed to be a convenient replacement for the original nutty pudding. In the powder version, you're getting a ton of polyphenols from grapeseed extract, pomegranate extract, and cocoa. It also has 26 grams of plant protein, and I'm assuming based on the taste, most of this comes from pea protein. Pea protein has this really kind of gritty texture. I'm not a huge fan of it, but I can pretty much immediately tell when something has pea protein in it based on the texture and, and a bit of the taste too. I'm gonna skip over the nut and berry mix because that's pretty self-explanatory. And finally, we have the extra virgin olive oil or snake oil as Brian has started calling it. A few things to note, a lot of the olive oil that you can buy in the States is mixed with seed oils or is rancid or is not really optimal olive oil. Our olive oil supply in the States seems to be pretty dirty. So when you get a hold of real olive oil, you can immediately taste the difference. Real olive oil, it kind of has a little bit of kick to it. It's not spicy per se, but if you take a shot of it, there'll be a slight burning sensation in the back of your throat. And you definitely get that with the extra virgin olive oil from the Blueprint Stack. Today is day 20 on the Blueprint Stack. And to be honest, I don't feel that different. So I'm a little bit skeptical that my blood work is gonna be that different just 10 days from now. Something that's come to mind while I've been doing this experiment is there's a lot of powder in the Blueprint Stack. So I've been taking the nutty pudding powder and putting it in with a smoothie, just so there's some more real food. I'm kind of treating it like a protein powder, which I guess it technically is, but it's marketed as a little bit more than a protein powder. Apparently one of the reasons that Brian developed the Blueprint Stack and all these supplements is because people were asking him to make it easier. When I first experimented with some of Brian Johnson's stuff and I did his diet for 75 days, people would comment all the time on my videos and be like, man, I would love to do something like this, but it just takes way too much time. It's unrealistic. And so it's nice that Brian has made the supplements and the protocol more accessible. But at the same time, when I see comments like that, I'm kind of like, no shit. Being healthy is hard. It's hard to go exercise every day. It's hard to make sure that you're eating the right foods and that you're putting the right supplements in your body and that you're actually spending the time to go get blood work done and to measure so that you know what specifically you need and you know what specifically you're missing in your diet. So that's a little bit of a rant there. Um, it's definitely easier to do Brian Johnson's supplement stack than it is to go out and buy all this stuff and to try to source everything yourself. But I do wonder if you actually need all 74 of the health interventions that are included in the stack. Cool, well, that's it. I'm excited to see where things end up in 10 days. So it's been a little bit over 30 days since I started taking the Blueprint stack and I finally have my blood work in. Let's jump into that and see if anything's changed and answer the question, is the Blueprint stack worth $361 a month? When I got my blood work done, initially almost all of my biomarkers were in an optimal range. However, there were a few that could use some improvements, specifically my HbA1c and my testosterone. But let's look at those first. After just 30 days on the stack, my HbA1c dropped from 5.5 4% down to 5.1%. Over the past year, my normal HbA1c has been from 4.7 to 4.9, so it's good to see that it's heading back down in the right direction. Now, is this because of the blueprint stack? Maybe partially, but also just cleaning up my diet and getting out of vacation mode probably had a lot to do with bringing this down. Also, it's interesting to see that my fasting blood glucose was at 86 milligrams per deciliter when I got my initial blood work done, and now it's down to 79 milligrams per deciliter. Now, testosterone, did this improve? As I kind of mentioned a couple of the ingredients in the stack could help boost testosterone, specifically ashwagandha. 30 days ago, my total testosterone was 561 nanograms per deciliter. And on my follow-up blood test, it was 575 nanograms per deciliter. So it went up a little bit. 14 nanograms per deciliter, nothing too crazy. What's interesting though, is that my free testosterone actually dropped over this 30 day period. 30 days ago, I was around 115.3 picograms per deciliter. I think PG picograms, oh sorry, picograms per milliliter. And now I'm at 107.1 picograms per milliliter. This is probably because my SHBG went up, which in my understanding is moving away from the optimal range for that biomarker. The company that I use for my blood work, they give you an optimization score telling you how many of your measured biomarkers are in optimal ranges. So for my first blood test, 96% of my biomarkers were in optimal ranges. And then for my follow-up blood test, 98% of my biomarkers were in optimal ranges. So I improved by about 2% over the course of the month. 
I'll put some of my other blood work up on screen and you can see that a lot of the biomarkers that were in optimal ranges shifted more toward the center of optimal over this time. So is the blueprint stack worth $361 a month? I'm gonna preface this by saying I like Brian Johnson. I think what he's doing is cool, but $361 is a lot of money for a 2% improvement. Now I started out in a pretty good place. 96% of my biomarkers were optimal. So maybe for somebody that's starting out with quite serious health problems, maybe 70% of their biomarkers are optimal or less. Perhaps you'd see a pretty big change over the course of taking these supplements and experimenting with these health interventions. Something that I learned from Brian Johnson is that you don't want to trust your intuition with something like this. You want to take actual measurements so that you know if you're improving and if you're actually optimizing for the right things. So if you decide to try the Blueprint Stack, I highly recommend that you get yourself a Whoop and order some blood tests just so you can get your baseline measurements and then you can see if you're actually making improvements after a bit of time on the stack. If you try it, let me know how it goes. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next one.